In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Midori MD Cotton Notebook. I'll go over the specs, I'll do a paper test, and I'll tell you what I like and don't like about this notebook coming up. Blake here with Blake's Broadcast. On this channel, I review fountain pens, paper, and ink, and as always, I put links in the show notes in the description below. And if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It really helps out my channel. All right, let's get on with the review. This is the Midori MD Cotton Notebook, and this version of the Midori MD has a paper that has 20% cotton content versus the regular one, which is 100% wood pulp. Other differences, the paper is wider. If we compare it to the regular MD, you can see this says MD cotton versus MD paper, and the covers reflect the paper inside, which I think is kind of a cool detail. So this is whiter and it has more texture, whereas this is smoother and more of an ivory green color. Also, the Midori MD cotton has a white bookmark only, whereas the regular MD has uh, various colored bookmarks. In terms of other differences, I believe this only ever came in blank, whereas the regular MD you can get ruled, grid, dot grid, and blank. And they have since changed the format of the MD Cotton notebook. So this is an A5 size, and I like this size because it fits all of my Midori MD covers and other standard A5 size covers, but the new ones, they have made them in the, I don't know, they're calling them like F sizes, F0, 2, 4, something like that. So there's one that's significantly smaller, one that's significantly bigger, and one that's even bigger than that. And I think they range in price from around 18 to $30. Uh, the Midori cotton, MD cotton has always been more expensive because it has paper with some cotton content in it. And this has 176 pages. The new ones have around 200. So they've added some pages and they've changed the size, but otherwise the paper is the same. Now, one of the interesting things that they've done, and maybe it's always been this way, but they're aiming the cotton paper for drawing, whereas the MD paper has always been for writing. And if you read anything about the MD paper, that was originally designed for writing. So interesting separation here, but let's take a look at the notebook. Overall, the, the design is basically the same minimalistic coverless design where we have the mesh along the spine here and we have our 16 page signatures, which I really like. You know, this lays completely flat. Let's do a paper comparison here. And let's start with the MD paper, regular MD paper, the 100% wood pulp one and the 20% cotton one. And we'll start with this Caran d'Ache Le Mans. This is a medium nib. Yeah. So the MD paper is definitely smoother, but it's honestly not that different. If you gave one of these to me, and I didn't have the other one to compare it to, I probably wouldn't really notice a huge difference in terms of the way that the, the pen feels on the paper. Let's go to Mitsubishi Bank Paper. This is very similar looking in color to the MD Cotton Paper, so it's not really a pure white exactly, but it is significantly whiter than this kind of cream greenish color. And this paper is noticeably more crisp feeling than either of the MD papers, like there's just a lot more, I don't know, I was going to call it spring back when I pull up the thing. There's just a more force, which is kind of interesting. In terms of the weight, it's really, you know, I can't tell by just feeling it. They're very close. This just feels crisper. Now, one thing that I would say is the MD or the bank paper feels smoother, but also look and notice that it appears to be absorbing the ink. We're getting possibly more line spread, and I wouldn't really consider Mitsubishi Bank Paper to be one that has noticeable line spread, but we're definitely seeing a difference in the width here, I think. A very small one, but it's definitely there. The Bank Paper is significantly smoother. Let's go to an extra fine nib here. Yeah. And I would say the bank paper is actually smoother than the MD paper. Now, let's go over to the original Crown Mill Pure Cotton. And we do sell these pads, if this pure cotton paper at thepapermind.com. And for Blake's broadcast viewers and subscribers, you do get 10% off code BB10 at checkout. Now, this is the heaviest paper here. This is, I believe, 100G paper. It's also 100% cotton. And it's the widest paper here by far. And it also has the most texture, I would say. 
And you can just see that right away in the lines that this produces. Yeah. So this is the roughest. I would say the MD cotton and the MD paper are very close seconds. The MD cotton is definitely a bit rougher and the Mitsubishi bank paper is by far the smoothest. Okay, let's go do a comparison of the MD paper performance. Now, unfortunately, the one that I have that I've tested is completely full, so it won't be quite as perfect looking, but that's okay. So in terms of the face, everything here looks decent, I would say, except for the pilot high-tech point where we definitely got feathering. And you do see some of the texture of the paper come through in some of these wider fountain pens like the Namigi Emperor and the Double Broad Lummy 2000. The rest of the face looks really very good. And when we turn it over, you know, the Troublemaker pens did fail, but that's to be expected. The pilot high-tech point did bleed through and the Pentel Energel 1.0 millimeter rollerball also bled through a little bit. Now, one thing I would say is that this paper does have more show through than the standard MD paper. Uh, and I think you can see that here pretty clearly. So that is definitely uh, a, a negative, I think. Now, in terms of the paper performance here, very, very similar. I think it did a little bit better with the high tech point, but you know, you do still see some feathering there. Otherwise, I think the face of this looks as good, maybe a little bit better with those wider pens, but overall pretty similar performance in terms of fountain pens. I would say they're both very fountain pen friendly. I would probably give the edge to the regular MD just because it doesn't have as much ghosting and maybe a little bit less bleeding. Okay, that's pretty much it. So what are my pros and cons for the Midori MD cotton notebook? Well, the biggest pro here is the 20% cotton paper. This is a nice alternative to the Midori MD paper, which is really excellent, honestly, but this is wider and there's a bit more feedback. So I really like the variety. I like, of course, the minimalistic design of the Midori MD notebook. And I think with fountain pens, this worked really well. Now I had another one of these quite a while ago and I remember it bleeding a bit more than the regular Midori MD notebook, but I didn't see that on this one. Now, in terms of cons, the biggest con is that they've changed the format. So you can't get an A5 size one. So if you have other Midori MD covers, they don't fit anymore. I don't know why they did that. They said they tried to optimize it more for drawing. So that kind of gives you a hint about how they think of this paper versus the regular MD paper, which is really designed for writing. So. That is, I think, unfortunate. The price is, of course, more expensive because of that cotton content. They are all blank, like this one, so you don't get dot grid, grid, or ruled options. So that is also, I would say, a downside. But overall, I do think that this is worth trying out if you like the Midori MD notebook. It is a nice paper. It is pretty fountain pen friendly. But that's pretty much it. Do you guys have this notebook? Do you like this notebook? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more fountain pen paper and ink videos, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. And until next time.